Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Samurai uh, Arist here, and uh, here I have the Mortal Kombat fight stick for the PS3. Now you can probably do it the same way with uh, the version. Hold on, let me uh, let me pause that. It's Family Guy on TV. <laughs> okay, so you know I was trying to look up a video to show how you can get this working on the computer and all, because I have the uh, emulator which is pj64 which i got off of uh eme.com and uh you know so i just got this in the day and i bought it off ebay it was brand new unopened but uh it kind of seemed like somebody opened the tapes i believe but everything was there the code for the dlc whatnot so uh, i looked up on youtube but i really didn't find a video unless i just didn't look <laughs> long enough but uh so i'm making a short video to show you how to actually get this working on the pc for like emulators and whatnot and like when you first plug it in it'll say you know looking for driver and then it says it's ready to use now normally let me set this down real fast normally i would go oh by the way this is recorded on my psp so <laughs> yeah <laughs> so okay normally i would use where is it the ds3 tool because uh, you plug in the ps3 controller and then it pops up like right here and all and then you can choose like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 options and whatnot. And, you know, you got like your profiles. Like, I got my PS3 6 and uh, PS1 for my PS3 controller set up. So I was trying to look and uh, d it doesn't pick up the Mortal Kombat fight stick so forget about Motion Joy Gamepad. <laughs> I'd say PJ64, uh, Project 64, oh, excuse me, for uh, the computer is awesome. Now what I had to do, and it's pretty simple, you just go to, you go to options, you go to controller configuration plugin. Now, when you go here, okay, you click, and then this actually pops up, Mortal Kombat Fight Stick for PlayStation 3, you click that, and then basically, since the controller is already plugged in, for uh, for the analog stick, all you got to do is just click this, and then you hit left, you hit the analog and you do it for these three. So you know you got left, up, right, down. Then for the C buttons, you actually I went online to look for the controls for the 64 for Mortal Kombat tr uh, trilogy, and then I figured out you know R was the I mean the C buttons. These were the new shit. <laughs> one was for kick. One was for, I mean they're both kicks, and on the of course you know it has one the stick high kick low kick. So all you really got to do is look up which ones, you know, say low kick, and then you click it, and basically you do it with everything. You know, you click that, and then you click the start button <laughs> on the, the fight stick. So it's it's very, very simple. You know, it's all you really got to do. <laughs> and then once you're done, you just hit save profile, and I named it uh, Mortal Kombat Fight Stick uh, Controls or whatever, and I clicked OK. So then we click the low profile, and... Yeah, see, Mortal Kombat Fight Stick controls, and then this was when I was trying to get the PS3 controls working, but then I figured out the D3 tool and all that and set that up. Okay, so I got that put up there, and now I will show you that it works. So I click OK. So let's uh, open ROM. Let's go Trilogy. Okay. So while that's loading, I will put the light. Uh, I almost said the lap. <laughs> I will put the joystick back on. I mean, not joystick. The fight stick back on my lap. Now, watch when I click start. See, and then click start again and again, of course. <laughs> and watch. You ready? See, moving the. Well, I'm trying to get it all in the view. It's kind of hard with the PSP. And all. Uh, crap. Oh, that came up before. Um, before I actually played a game, at many times, which you can, it's like constantly you click that. So you just go to system, hit reset, and yeah, it's it's annoying sometimes. <laughs> so once it resets, okay, what the hell? Reset, dude. Go ahead. And so I'll just start, start, start. I'm just gonna hurry up and choose Scorpion because he's my favorite character. So you 
basically click that that'll be a that'll be B and all and then yeah <laughs> so we'll choose that you know so I just wanted to post that video and show how simple it actually is to set it up and watch see moving the joystick I mean, of course you Come here. Come here. It's okay. <laughs> see if I can. There we go. Boom. Oh, uppercut, baby. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. <laughs> I just beat him with one hand. So, yeah, and then, so you want to pause it. Bam. So it's all that simple, and. Yeah, let's around. Okay, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching my video. I hope. You know, that helped a lot. Um, I don't know if the other emulators are as easy as doing that. Actually, uh, since I'm making this video, I language, but uh, let's try it out then. I'll exit out of this one. I'll open up the PlayStation. I got the PSX uh, version 1.13. Let's go to configuration. Let's go for controllers. Device. Oh, look. What do you know? It popped up. <laughs> And uh, pretty much you basically do the same thing, like, you would uh, basically click where the, see where the mouse pointer is, you click in there and then you hit the button and bam. <laughs> so, yeah, it's that easy then, um, I hope that helped and all, and uh, let's see, the PJ64, the version of that is, version 1.6 is what I got, but... Like I said, go to Emu Paradise and you get it off there. And, yeah, it's pretty much simple. Everything, you know, gets set up. I gotta say, I love this, too. Like, I, I had one before, but it was for the 360, but I didn't have a an Xbox. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I guess uh, only the Tournament Edition one has... Or, no, I think that's just the Xbox for, that has the headphone jack. But, yeah, um... Yeah, I definitely recommend getting one of these because they're freaking awesome. If your GameStop still has them in, because there's actually a few GameStops still around that actually has uh, the Fight Sticks in there, and they're about like 45 bucks. I ended up paying like 83 for this one online because it was my backup bid. Because this other one, I was like, shoot, somebody's gonna outbid me. And well, bam, I went, I won that one. Then I ended up winning this one, so I was like, oh shit. <laughs> the other one cost me 61, and. The only GameStop close to me is probably about uh, 45 minutes to an hour drive away, and I don't even have a car right now, so yeah. <laughs> there was no way I was going to get that. I wasn't going to bother anybody for a ride up here. But, uh, yeah, you know, I definitely recommend getting one of these 100% because it's freaking awesome, especially for the uh, the Mortal Kombat Classic Collection arcade uh, for the PS3 and for the 360. And actually, it also works on uh, Mortal Kombat. I guess everybody says Mortal Kombat 9. You know, the front cover is basically is on here. Let me exit out of that. Yeah, that Mortal Kombat <laughs> and all. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to possibly getting the Tournament Edition. And uh, the other one is coming tomorrow. I don't even know why I said that, but I'm just excited because I love the design, even though I wish they had the dragon, like on the actual arcade machine. And I've seen some people actually take these fight sticks and they built cabinets and made it into an actual like arcade machine itself. It looks, they're actually, they look pretty badass. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's really all I got to say and thank you so much for watching my video.